Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. This is a 48 by 48 inch acrylic on canvas. Um, I didn't capture the whole entire making of this painting. Um, this is just a part, but you'll get a good idea for how I came about the finished product. Um, the first part of the painting was all done with fluid acrylic. Um, and I'm gonna layer some paints. This is a green, it's a Decord Extreme Sheen Green. And this is a, a Dick Blick bronze mixed with um, Folk Art Antique Bronze. That's an Extreme Sheen by Deco Art Gold. This is Golden's Prussian Blue. And I've, I admit there's some other colors in there. I can't recall exactly, it's a little darker. That is Alchemy's Opal Blue and I mixed in some Golden Turquoise. Beautiful, I love that color. And this is a uh, Payne's Gray by Grumbacher. I keep that around all the time. Just to add a little darker paint to it. These are just little three ounce cups. So we're layering in, I'm doing the, the um, sandwich style layering, which I really like. I think it's a great, very versatile way to pour paint. And I'm just layering in the paints in between three layers of white. And here she is. This is a big painting that I've been working on. Um, all these kind of wit. It was actually a painting that I scraped initially. So that kind of, it had, it was pretty stained on the background from the paint um, in a very nice way actually. And so I added uh, golden fluid paints to it um, and just kind of in wave-like pattern across the canvas using water and tilting the canvas and kind of getting these um, almost watercolor type effects. And now I'm doing the ribbon pour with these other paint colors across um, in between the layers. I just felt like it was not there yet um, the way it was and it kind of popped into my head that some of these ribbon pours um, in between these, these uh, wave-like layers of, uh, of fluid paint would be really pretty. So. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more green than I wanted um, initially, but um, you're going to see what I end up doing with this painting. Um, <clears throat> and I don't do it all at once. This is in quite a few different sittings. So uh, I let it dry and then I'm going to kind of come back in over it and stain it with some golden fluid colors. Um, the golden fluids that I used here was Prussian blue, turquoise, and Payne's gray. And I'm gonna use those same colors kind of to bring um, a little bit darker, kind of just make it flow with the rest of the painting. So I just kind of stain over it. Um, and it's uh, been kind of a methodical process with this painting, you know, kind of let it dry, come back. So this is the next day um, doing the same thing. Uh, with the with the layering of the paints in small cups just so I had more control and I didn't really need a whole lot of paint so I'm doing three cups this time I actually added a little bit of straight golden fluid in there and there is some parts that I did not get on camera um, which you'll you'll notice but this is uh, the next layer and I, I kind of like, it's kind of giving this kind of pebbly oceanic vibe in between the kind of watery layers. Um, it's kind of like, kind of reminds me of a shoreline. Um, so I'm just going to let you guys watch and you'll see what I start to do with the staining. You can actually see it up in that corner that uh, the, some of the parts that had dried, I kind of started rubbing just with water and golden fluid and a paper towel, just kind of bringing in um, another, you know, dimension over top of these dried layers. Um, and I just kept working at this painting. It was such a sad day when I had to scrape all the paint off of that 48 by 48 inch canvas. Uh, I was not filming that day. Actually, I think I was. <laughs> so maybe I'll share that at some point, but. Uh, you know, sometimes these canvases that give us a hard time end up being a triumph in the end, and I think that this is going to be one of those, so 
please subscribe so you can see as my as my work comes out. Um, I uh, I'm getting ready for a uh, I'm going to be hanging a bunch of art in our local coffee roasters this winter over the holidays. I've got I've got art hung in the yoga studio that I go to. I filled their walls and also a small community gallery here in town. I've got six pieces there, so I've just been working at it. Um, it's really fun, and I hope you enjoy. So subscribe to my channel, check me out on Instagram, and message me if you're interested in a piece. Uh, I can definitely have that conversation as well. Have a happy day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Take great care. Thank you. talk at you a little bit more um, so the fluid colors that are uh, not that I'm pouring but that were on the canvas to start I did want to mention that I used a high flow by golden pearl and I actually dabbed in some bits of alcohol ink gold and silver so I was just realizing that there's quite a bit going on in those layers and if you were curious how that came about uh, and there's a little bit of even uh, Golden's iridescent bronze heavy body paint that I used within those layers a bit. So just to give it some interest and variation. And then at the end, what I ended up doing, it's, I'm not quite done yet, but I, I'm taking a, a, a Payne's Gray and painting the edges of the canvas. To give it a nice finished look but I actually might end up putting this in like a nice maple floating frame is what I'm thinking so yeah I just wanted to add those little notes um, and there is the stain all right enjoy thanks again bye